Hey there guys, it is Graham here and I am going to do a quick video on how to uh, upload your the, the workouts, the Zwift workouts into your iOS app as I know a couple of you might be doing uh, the training through your iOS app. So um, you can't actually transfer the files uh, through iTunes so you need to download another app which is called iFunbox so if we just click iFunbox.com so if you head there so you can either download it for Windows or Mac you just need to click on this take you to here and then you just choose which one you download so um, when I have uh, when I downloaded it, it came up with uh, when I went to open the application, it came up with a uh, error saying that I can only down I uh, can only open applications that are from iTunes. Um, so if that does happen, then head to your system preferences. Head to security and privacy. Click on the lock down the bottom. Type in your password and your settings will be set to Mac app store and identify developers. You just want to go anywhere. Oops. So as you can see down there, it already says iPhone box was blocked from opening because it's not from an, an, from an identified developer. So you're just going to click on anywhere, allow from anywhere, or you can click on uh, that one, that app, uh, where it said open anyway. You lock that down. And then in your applications folder, you'll have... A iPhone box, it's just a little icon like that. You just double click that, open it up, and this is what you get to. So, then uh, if you haven't already, plug in your iPhone or your iPad, and it will come up here um, showing you that you've been connected. So, then what you want to do is go to App File Sharing, there'll be a Zwift folder in there. Uh, make sure you've also downloaded the Zwift application onto your iPhone or iPad uh, before doing this. Uh, you want to click on Zwift. You open up Zwift. It's the similar file system as if you were to do uh, Documents, Zwift, same um, folders and files. So then what you want to do is you want to go into Workouts. If you've downloaded the workouts from email and you've saved them somewhere then what you want to do is go to the workout wherever you saved them uh, or if they're in your uh, computer system anyway you want to just take those drag and drop on a Mac just be careful that if you do drag them and drop them that they don't just disappear straight out of here so that's why I have um, duplicated the workouts. I'll just delete them in a second. Um, and there they are. So uh, what I will now do, just close that up. If we go to the app, we open up Zwift. We log in to my profile. Skip this. If you go select workout. If you go down, browse by tags uh, to custom workouts, uh, you've got the endurance bunny and the long ride. You can even go in and change them, make your own.
So then you just go workout. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see me on here. Make sure you add me as a uh, a rider so that you can see me when I'm in the in the app. Go to ride. There we go, and there it is. Uh, if you click down here, if you don't want to do a certain uh, if you don't want to do a certain set, you just click next, you go on to the next one. So if you're feeling tired and you don't feel like you can do it, just click the next one. You can't go back, unfortunately. You can also pause the workout and then you can rejoin again. Very cool. I think if you do a double tap as well, two fingers, yep, it pops up like that. And Try that again. You can message someone, or you can change the view. So there you go. And then if you ever want to go back out, you can go to your settings. You can customize yourself. That's your pairings. And then these are any of your achievements. So in the ride, end ride, you can either save it to, directly to Zwift uh, and Strava, or well, if you just save it, it will just upload it into the cloud system, so it's all there anyway. Uh, or if you've just done what I've done and not done anything, just discard. And that is that. So that is how you upload your workout into iOS. So look forward to seeing you and we will see you soon.